here with your name and age. How you doing? Uh, my name is Ishama. I'm 37. Okay. And Ishama, why did you end up popping your balloon? I apologize. It was the tattoos that caught oh, me, yeah. and I'm just not a fan of too much oh, tattoos and stuff like that. I, even though I have tattoos myself, mm -hmm. it's just like, yeah, it was just a little too much, but gorgeous yourself, though. Thank you. No problem. Mm -hmm. Now, is, is Ishama someone that's your type? You're not bad looking. Appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to our next guy. Your name and age? Ricky, and I'm 32. Nice to meet you. And Ricky, why did you end up popping your balloon? First and foremost, I couldn't get past the shoes. It's like they squeezing your feet and it's like they're suffocating. Uh, I just couldn't get past that. Okay. For me, another thing, the physical attraction just mm -hmm. wasn't there for me. Mm -hmm. Like, what am my speed? Like, when I look at something, I want to be like, oh, I got to get that. Or, right. I, I need that. And it's just right. like, oh, huh, next. Mm. So, my the attraction wasn't there. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, is Ricky someone that's your type? I mean, he's cool. Okay. Cool? You got a strong face. Oh. I love it though. You mean like his jawline? Is that what yeah. you're strong? Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> you should eat a lot more, but I love it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. You are beautiful as well. Thank so you. I never I thought I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh my God. I think all the extra sass. I never thought I wasn't. <sighs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, yeah. So this is the problem that we have. Okay, so the attitude, the extra sass. Who wants to deal with that though? And she definitely could use my services when it comes down to her eating habits. <laughs> Let's go on over here to our next guy. Your name and age? Trey, and I'm 29. And Hello. Trey, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, kind of like what my boy said down there, just a neck tattoo. I don't really like it. <laughs> so everything else is perfect, though. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. the tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. They're my favorite part about me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unbreakable. Oh, is that what that says? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, yeah. okay. You're cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so he's cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Let's go over here. Hello. Your name and age. Timothy, I'm 37. Okay. Hi. And Timothy, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just not attracted. I don't like the tattoos and the leg. You got a leg tattoo. Um, Aw. I just don't see myself having fun with you. Like, okay. I wanna, I'm want. i looking to have some fun. Right. And I uh, just, I don't know. Just okay. Ain't a little, the weight, you're, you're kind of overweight for me, okay. too. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So is Timothy someone that's your type? No, he looks his age. Oh. He does look like he's 37. It's okay, though. Okay. You're about nine, ten years older than me. But I do. You... It's cool. Oh, oh, my God. So I would have thought I would have thought that she's 47. <laughs> but, yeah, but ladies, ladies, this is still a great teachable moment for you. So you have to go and give men what they want. So men don't like all the other all the extra weight and the tattoos and right now I can see her fake lashes so that's that screams ghetto you know just it's like men don't like all that fake stuff you know because the first thing that comes to mind when I see a woman with all them tattoos I think about okay her life is about attention and pleasure and then you can't make up for lack of fitness with more sash and more mouth for some reason a lot of women think that they can. They could just run their mouth and say something slick. And I mean, you could fool a few dumb guys. Oh, she a dime because she got that dime attitude. Now she's just an overweight chick trying to go and compensate for her lack of fitness. Carry <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Let's head back. So we do have one unpopped balloon. All right. Um, any questions for each other? Yeah. How many kids you got? I got three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kids obviously are a deal break. So, yep. So, and I bet you it's about three different guys. So, yeah. So, she has a track record. And then, yeah. So, but you guys have to have some standards. So, why are you guys putting with a woman that she got a big mouth? She's talking slick. She's overweight. But, guys, you have to do better. And that's why these women are talking crazy because too many of you guys are not having standards. You're letting women say whatever all just because you're horny. But before that, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she look good, you know. I like the tattoos, you know. That's look, that look nice. Thank but you. Just the key is my limit. I ain't gonna Thank lie. You. Can't can't even lie to you. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, is Cedric someone that's your type? No. Okay. What makes him not your type? The way he looks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see. I'm not trying to be funny. He's just not my. Move her neck. I'm like, what dude? Well, I'm like I said, but type. Not for real. <laughs> so when you say the way he looks, like his the face. outfit. Oh. Okay, he's fine. Okay. All right, cool. 
Thank you. Okay. Yeah, don't laugh. Please. You're making me laugh. I'm not trying not to. <laughs> he should be the last person laughing on this stage. Oh. Yeah. So who the last like, guy? Yeah. Again, Why are you laughing at? I mean, if I was on that stage, who we? The things that I would tell her. But yeah, y'all, but like I said, but these women, so yeah, because they feel empowered because most of you guys don't have standards. You let everything slide. You don't have. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right well that is all the balloons thank pops you. Bobby, do thank you so much for coming thank on you. let's go ahead and give it up for her guys i'll take this mic thank, thank you, you. <laughs> yeah yeah so she had a lot of nerve yeah oh yeah oh my god i think if i said you can't make up and this the other thing is all that ace to jail that's the other thing that shows that just reeks hood rat you know but whatever though but whoo Y'all, y'all do is doing too much, but just letting women like her get away with that and just say whatever. Mm -mm -mm. But let's get into the next video. You asked me to rate myself one to ten. I am a ten, a ten out of ten. The only men who are saying that I'm a two on a ten scale can't afford dinner, okay? Can't afford my bills, <laughs> and are always complaining about how they want women to go fifty fifty with them on dates, okay, babes? I'm a ten. You asked me to rate myself. But ladies, ladies, once again, this is a perfect example. I say she's a a, a, a negative 10 <laughs> on top of the attitude. But yeah, but ladies, it's the man that determines how hot that you are. So you may feel like you're a 10, but that don't mean nothing. The guys are the ones who decide whether you're a 10 or not. But man, but she just, I think I'm going back to her. She was kind of hideous, but let me go back. <laughs> Read that back. But yeah, but just that uh, like her attitude is really, really out of it's out of control, you know. So I'm like, oh my god, only I like about her, but she got nice eyebrows. That's the only thing I can say that's attractive. She got nice full eyebrows. But yeah, but you can feel like whatever you want, but it's the man. The man has to decide. And then ain't nobody whining and dying to her. So this woman, <laughs> this woman is a typical example of a late night creeper. Which you guys need to, once again, need to raise up your standards. And that's why women like her are talking crazy. But it's still, she knows she can fool enough of you dumb guys into, well, she got all this sass. She's a dime. No, she's not. She's a, one she's to a negative 10. <laughs> Make myself one to 10. Some, you are oh, my God. And, and hold on. That's the other thing. Oh, my God. Just when when women wear bonnets. That, myself one to 10. Some that's like the worst thing too, you know, just, oh my God. The first thing that I think of this woman that has a bonnet on, she didn't shower, she didn't do this, she didn't roll out of the bed, just running her mouth. But oh my God, you know, but, but ladies, I want to see you get your look in order. So a lot of those women, whenever you see them, especially on this pop the, on the, uh, pop the balloon show, these women are overweight, a whole bunch of tattoos. So they lack discipline. That's what they need. They lack self-control and they lack discipline. So if you want to have guys to pay you, uh, give you more respect, and then just treat you better, you have to go and get your look in order. So especially if you all want that man to have his finances in order, he's going to want that woman to have her look in order. That's just what it is. So you have to give men what they want. You got to find out what men want. So a lot of times you all know that men want fit women but you just don't want to do the work because you know that there's enough guys out there who don't have standards and then they'll put up with whatever just so they can hit so we need to you all need to do better so i right, child so i want to thank you all for watching the show like share and subscribe to my video and ladies if you're looking for help to finally to get control of your eating habits because the main thing that i realized that you all need help with is your eating habits you've been a, a lot a lot of women have been addicted to food for the last 10 20 years you know once again right now thanksgiving is coming up the average person gains 7 to 12 pounds from thanksgiving to the first week of new year's so what i do for my clients is i hold them accountable to the highest level with my app i get to see in real time what they're eating i make them a meal plan i help them with their training i make them a personalized workout major for them i have a a habit tracker where the habits are personalized just uh, for them. So if you're interested in getting help, actually, I'm going to give you all something. Comment the word, actually, uh, in my in my description, 
I'm going to give you all my meal tracker so you can go and you can download that. So this is my, uh, this is my mastering macros, uh, uh, guide. So I have a mastering macro guys that I'm going to put in there that you can go and download that because I want to see you all win. So ladies, I don't want to see you all have to live the life of guys calling you at one, two in the morning or whatever, calling you late after all the fine women that they really, really want to be with is not answering or they just out with the guys that they want. I don't want to see you all live that life where you're the late night creeper. And then it's going to make you be upset and you're going to hate men. But you need to just to get your health in order, get your look right, get control over that mouth, you know, get your eating habits in order. And I want to see you all win. And remember, I want you all to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Share this video with a friend who can use this knowledge and insight. And I'm going to see you all next time. Remember, God wants you healthy and fit. And the devil wants you to procrastinate and put it off and make excuses and say that you're so busy, you got so much going on. The devil want to see you overweight and, and just full of excuses.